In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove vocals from a song using AI. The tool I'm using is called Phonic Mind, an AI-based vocal remover and also stems maker. Now, I've tried other solutions like Splitter and Lalau AI, and what I found is that Phonic Mind's audio engine is one of the best in the market. Now, it takes only up to a minute to split a song into four separate audio stems. You basically get vocals, drums, bass and other instruments separated from a song and if you take that audio stems from phonic mind upload it up to a daw and play it back together you hear the original sound as though nothing has changed now if you use something like splitter split up a song into separate audio stems upload it up into a daw and play it back you hear that it does not sound exactly like the original song anymore and the reason for that is because where Splitter does not understand certain parts of musical elements within an audio stand, it simply silences it. Now, the reason why Phonic Mind is far superior is because it continues to listen to music every single day using deep learning techniques. It listens to music every single day, and that means it understands music better, and over time, it only gets better and better. So anyway, enough talking. Let's upload a song into Phonic Mind and I'll walk you through how to remove vocals on the song and also to split a song into separate audio stems. Let's get to it. So here I am on Phonic Mind and you can see I'm already logged into my account. So next thing to do is to click on upload and I'm going to be uploading a track called International Love by Pitbull. It's advisable to upload high quality audio formats like .wav, .aiff or .flac which are uncompressed audio formats so you get the best results using the AI vocal remover. Now it will take up to a minute for Phonic Mind to analyze and also process a song before splitting it up into four audio stems, vocals, drums, bass and others. Let's give it a minute for it to process. So once it's done, you will see that you have a free sample out of the whole track. You can take a listen to it. So you can see that the vocals are removed by default. So the vocals is gone. Can you hear how amazing that is? If you want to introduce some of the vocals back, you can by just turning it up. See that? So basically this is like your multi-tracks. You can actually download the vocals, drums, bass and others separately and do whatever you want with it. Turn it into a karaoke track, extract just the vocals or extract the audio stems to turn them into resamp for resampling or for DJing purposes. Now we can also turn this to an acapella, for example, by just muting all the other tracks and using just the vocal track. Oh, So anyway, once you're happy with what you hear, you have to click on Perform Full Conversion to convert the entire song. So I'm going to click on Perform Full Conversion. Now keep in mind, when you do that, you'll be charged and we'll talk about the pricing at the end of this video. Again, it'll take up to another minute for Folding Mind to process the entire song. Alright, and there we go, our song is completely processed. So the next thing to do is to click on Download and you can choose a few formats to download your process tracks in from the mix which is the entire mix that you see right now so that means you can actually change the mix that you want for example you you want without the vocals and without bass that's called the mix and you can basically just click on this and download the mix that you currently have on the web player here now if you click on karaoke.flac or karaoke.mp3 you get a karaoke ready version of the song you just processed without its vocals if you download vocals you only get the vocal track and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to click on stems.flac to get all the stems separately so i can upload them into my daw and play them back so I've created a multi-track in Adobe Audition and I'm going to be dropping the audio stems downloaded from Photic Mind into Adobe Audition. Let's highlight them all and drop it into Adobe Audition like that. So you can see these are the four audio stems processed by Photic Mind. We have bass, drums, others and vocals. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play back the song to let you hear how it crazily matches the original song. Yeah, we're international. I mean, that sounds just like the original song, right? Now, we can do all sorts of things we want to do it right now. For example, I'm going to remove the vocals. Mute it and let's go. Or 
or let's say we just want the vocal tracks and I'm gonna keep just the vocal tracks as an a cappella. Can you hear how clean that is? This is the vocal, this is the tracks or just the drums So you can begin to see we can use this for all sorts of resampling and also for DJing purposes and you can get creative with whatever you have from the audio stems processed by Phonic Mind. This is amazing. So one thing to note is that Phonic Mind is a paid solution and you'll be charged when you click on perform full song conversion. Now the good news is once you perform full song conversion, that song will be added to your account and you can download it as many times as you want to. Now let's look at the pricing of Phonic Mind. Assuming that you're going to go for the single bundle, that will cost you $3.99 to perform a full conversion for one full song. What I recommend you to do is to go for the Pro or the Extreme Bundle, where it brings down the cost of converting a song to $1.99. And you might be wondering, why should I pay to convert songs into audio stands when I can use things like conventional audio effects and plugins to do this? Well, I even have a tutorial for that. You can go and take a look. But the thing that I want to ask you is, you can spend the next two or three hours trying to remove vocals from a song, but is your two or three hours worth only $1.99? And not to mention the results and quality that you get from using an AI-based vocal remover like Phonic Mind is way, way, way much better compared to using conventional audio effects and also plugins. So think about that. Anyway, let me know what you think about Phonic Mind. What do you think of its quality? Have you used it? What are your thoughts on it? And drop your responses down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.